40 years ago, a remote forest in Suffolk, UK, was the scene of one of the most famous UFO sightings in history. So, just what did happen, and will we ever know for sure? The date was the 26th of December, 1980. Within the leafy surroundings of Rendlesham Forest was RAF Woodbridge, a World War II era military airfield, which at the time was occupied by the United States Air Force. In the early hours of Boxing Day morning, United States Air Force personnel claimed to see strange lights descending into the nearby forest. Initially, believing the source of the light to be a downed aircraft, the men went to investigate. Upon entering the forest, the servicemen could hear animals from a nearby farm going crazy. As they approached the area, they spotted what they would later describe as a strange glowing object with coloured lights that quickly flew away in the direction of the nearby coast. Returning to the same spot at daybreak, the men found a small clearing, said to contain three impressions on the ground, creating a triangular shape. Burn marks and broken branches were also reported on the surrounding trees. Two days later, Deputy Base Commander Lieutenant Colonel Charles Holt, who detailed the events in a memo to the UK Ministry of Defence, went into the forest with the servicemen in the early hours. After taking him to the clearing to show him the impression on the ground, he was in awe. He mentioned that the nearby farm animals were making a racket while a flashing light was said to descend upon him and the men. Holt then described three mysterious illuminations, liking them to stars, but hovering just above the horizon with the occasional stream of light beaming down in front of them. Two weeks later, Holt sent his memo to the MOD. Apart from hearsay and rumours, the general public was none the wiser about the events of December 1980. However, two suited men visited forestry worker Vince Thurkettle during that period. Vince Thurkettle worked in Riddlesham Forest, and his house was very close by. They asked, Did you leave the house at all? Did you see anything? He asked why. The men mentioned that there was a report of some strange lights in the forest. The two men, very politely but firmly, asked him around 20 questions, and he assumed they were journalists. After a barrage of questions, they seemed satisfied and left. Curious about what was going on, Vince bought the papers for the next few days to try and find out what was going on. However, there was nothing. It took a further three years for the memo to be released into the public domain by the US government. When it did, the story hit the headlines across the world. Rendlesham Forest became the UFO capital of the UK. Another alleged encounter to come out of Rendlesham Forest was from a poacher who took these photographs. They were taken over 40 years ago by a poacher in Rendlesham Forest. He said, When I was younger, I was a poacher. I lived very close to Rendlesham Forest and frequently went poaching there. Now, bear this in mind, before this encounter, I saw and heard a lot of strange things in that forest. I could tell you stories that would bend your bones. So every time I went poaching, I always took my camera, hoping to capture some evidence. There have been hundreds of reported UFOs in Rendlesham Forest, and to this day, is seen as a UFO hotspot. So, what do you think? Is this for real, or just a hoax? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.